What is up, YouTube? Good to get here back at it with the My League Rebuild. And today, uh, as you've read by the title, it is the One Trade Challenge Rebuild. Now, before the video starts, you guys know what to do. Make sure to drop a like, drop a comment down below what rebuild you'd like to see next. If you enjoy the content, you like what you're watching, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications. But let's get to it. Now, I have picked these Suns. It was completely random. I just kind of swiped through all the teams, didn't look at it. And then I, as long as I landed on a team that's kind of rebuilding, I was going to pick them. So, Devin Booker, DeAndre Ayton, Kelly Bird Jr., Ricky Rubio, Aaron Baines. Their team's solid enough. Obviously not solid enough to win a championship right now. Before the NBA took a hiatus, uh, they were 26 and 39, it looks like. To explain the challenge, one trade rebuild challenge. It does not mean one trade forever. It means one trade per season. And that, that includes any, tra any trade. Any trade, if it's a trade to move up in the draft. If it's a trade for a player. If it's a trade for cap space, I'm only allowing myself one a trade. And of course, I'm not going to try to cheese it and just sign the best player in the offseason. The offseason, uh, the free agency will be used most likely for, I would say, bench pieces if we need it. And then if I really want to use my trade for a young guy, a young rookie, then I will do that to move up our pick. But since we are uh, the Phoenix Suns, we might have a decent pick already. So, but right now, we obviously can't do anything until the offseason. Trade deadline has passed. All that has passed. So, and we'll see who wins the championship. Giannis wins MVP. Morant, Rookie of the Year. Montre okay. Uh, it's usually always uh, Dennis Schroeder, but we'll take that. Something different. Kawhi Leonard, Defensive Player. Bam, Most Improved Coach of the Year. Frank Vogel. Now, we go on to see. I really don't care about the All-NBA teams, obviously. We're not in the playoffs. We got to go ahead to where we could start rebuilding our team. The Raptors are back-to-back -back champions. Pascal scores 27 a game. Did they fix his tendencies? 27 a game and seven games against the Mavericks of all. The Mavericks beat the Lakers. Oh, wow. Anyways, we're in the offseason now. One trade is all we got. Would this count as... Oh, shoot. You know what? I'll count this as the seasons as well. So I won't be able to do anything this season if I do a trade for the draft. Yeah, okay. We'll start. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll start every offseason. Our one trade will start every offseason. So this season, it's going to be this offseason we get a trade. Got to wait the entire season until the next offseason, and then we get a trade. Or if I hold off, obviously, I could trade in in the middle of the season before the trade deadline, stuff like that. Draft lottery is going to be huge for us. If we finish top 10, I would love that. Skip to lottery results. Uh, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? We are 11th. Okay. I don't know what to do with that. I don't know what to do with that. Exit, draft lottery. Yes. Uh, I'm going to go sign the best staff possible. Monty Williams is probably out of here. Our assistant coach is out of here. If I can find a better trainer, he's out of here as well. Of course, I'm going to go explore trades just to see what obviously we have a lot of people on on contract still deep books here for four seasons i don't think i'm gonna trade him i don't think i'm gonna trade the De, uh deandre Ayton. these guys are gonna be crucial for us to try to win a championship uh we just gotta put whatever i can around them so i don't know what to exactly do, do we, we need a point guard if we need one in the future as well two years ricky rubio do i trade that contract there's <laughs> so many questions with one trade a season this might not be the biggest of deals but it, i <laughs> I think it should help a bit. Now, Ricky Rubio here for two seasons. Obviously, he's already going to be like 30 years old, 29, 30 years old. Dennis, time and time again, I've seen him improve in these in these rebuilds that I do. So I'm going to run him at the point. He's a 20-point scorer. He'll obviously help with a lot of scoring. Um, hopefully, his assist can get back up to around six. And I'm going to try to steal their 19th overall pick. Maybe pick up a project, send him to the G League. Or, or not, I don't want to super cheat. Uh... Maybe just give him some untapped potential or something. But anyways, Ricky Rubio, Frank Kaminsky for Dennis. They do not want it. I've seen some... They want Kelly Oubre Jr., which is honestly... If I... Hmm, give me another pick this season. Give me another pick this season, and they want our pick. No, 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 no. Okay, hold up. Let me take out Kelly Oubre Jr., add that 20... And then that 22nd pick as well. Do they just add Kelly Oubre Jr.? They add Mikael Bridges and Jalen. But they add another first round Los Angeles Clippers swap best. So we'd be stacked with this year's picks. Maybe get lucky, draft a couple projects, uh, and eventually win like that. Shoot, I don't want to give up. My... Oh, man. Does that mean we're, we're going to keep Kelly Oubre Jr. then? We'd have to re-sign Oubre. We'd have to re-sign Dennis if he plays well and we want him to. We'll have our 11th pick. The whatever pick that is. Okay. You know what? I just don't want to give up Mikel Bridges, man. I'm pulling it. I'm pulling it. I'm pulling it. I'm pulling it. We have a small forward already. If anything, we could draft some other guys as well. We're going to go into the draft. I'll see what I can get at the 11th and whatever other picks we have. What other picks did I just trade for? We have the 11th, the 19th, the 22nd. We'll see what I can get with those guys. 
um hopefully some 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 good players all right ladies and gentlemen we got ourselves some pretty solid i would say overpowered <laughs> overpowered rookies from this draft class so we got ourselves onyeka okong oh, i don't know how to say his last name man i'll, I'll try I'll tr I i'm not gonna try i'm not gonna try but yeah pretty sure projected to be a top 10 draft pick denny i don't know where he's projected to be but i mean i got him at 19th i'm pretty sure he's supposed to go a little bit higher yeah also a top 10 draft pick if if, if i'm looking at these draft boards correctly and then josh green's supposed to go somewhere like in the teens no he's supposed to go 21st so that was one i guess a realistic one right there but we got ourselves some nice pieces here um i might start him at power forward right away do i change him to the power forward position he is 6'9 i would probably run him at power forward and then try to somehow improve his shooting but we got ourselves some nice pieces here is the progression from honestly we haven't even started our first real season for us up but uh d book goes up two deandre goes up three schroeder goes up one like i said he's gonna continue to improve hopefully another two overall this this following off season Ubre jr still here does not go up christian wood i signed for two seasons plus one um i did that honestly he becomes a bench piece or he becomes a, a tradable piece <laughs> is why i signed him only 24 years old still for kaminsky here for another season darbio accepted his qualifying offer then he's still overseas uh onyeka uh 75 overall might move into power forward he's 69 it would just you know I, I he'd be more valuable at power forward since we already have a great center cameron johnson might move him down to small forward that's a secondary position so as long as it's not like i a i don't know he it just doesn't make sense for me to run him at power forward when i already have bigs i i do possibly need a backup power i mean backup small forward uh ty jerome and then josh green um all these other guys accepted their qualifying offers i gave untapped potential to johnson to onyeka and to denny who i could somehow still give untapped potential to even though he's overseas um he's gonna come back as a beast and probably start at small forward right away but i am gonna do those changes uh where is he where is he where is he onyeka going to power forward he goes to a 78 it seems so cheap but it, it's just i need them at those positions this is what the lineup is looking like i can't make any trades this season i have to wait to the off season or next season in and Dennis Schroeder at the one, Booker at the two, Kelly Oubre Jr. still at the three, Onyeka at the four, DeAndre Ayton at the five, Christian Wood at the six, seventh is Frank Kaminsky, Dario is at the eighth spot, and Cameron Johnson. If we had him at power forward, there'd be just way too many bigs. There'd literally be power forward, center, power forward, power forward. To me, this team is playoff. A playoff team so we might not have an awesome draft pick depending on whose draft picks we have okay yeah we only have our own and then we'd have to wait till swap best over here in 2023 so i don't know if we win by then make sure our proficiency is at its best grit and grind is not going to be the best uh triangle works seven seconds works so i balance works i'm gonna just run balance even though onyeka is not happy there but that, that's fine with me um and yeah we're gonna hopefully be amazing eventually because we drafted pretty freaking well two of our three draft picks are gonna be uh, one's already uh, in the starting lineup danny's coming next off season we still have devin booker obviously and then we gotta make sure we retain our center i'll see you guys at the end of the season because i can't make any moves i can resign players but it's whatever i'll wait till the off season hopefully in the playoffs in our our first full season that we are simulating because last season technically we didn't do anything at all but let's get to it first full season for us and we're 47 and 35 and we're only gonna get better Giannis mvp rookie of the year james white Man, Ricky Rubio, sixth man. Ooh, okay, so he's still beasting it, I guess. Uh, we'll see what Dennis uh, is doing for us. Defensive player of the year, Anthony Davis, Chris Boucher, most improved, and Mike for the Bucks, 61 and 21. So let's go see any of our players make an All NBA team. Only person to make a team is Onyeka, who made a second team uh, a rookie. So yeah, yikes. We're third overall though, so that is great. Um, season stats, player stats, 26.5 for Booker. Of course, he's going to be scoring 22. 22 and 8 yes i will take that over ricky rubio 43 percent from the field though and 38 from three though that's a lot better i will absolutely take that my guy 22 and 8 uh 15.8 and 10 for uh deandre and kelly Bruce jr 13.4 and 9.7 and 8 as a rookie of course we're gonna need to improve his uh his i guess his mid-range his three-point shot or else uh we need we need some spacing we need some space and frank eight and four off the bench dario seven and four Christian Woods, 6 and 6.7. Too many bigs off my bench. And Cameron Johnson, 4.7 points off my bench. We'll see how our youth improve. I don't expect a championship, but of course, you guys saw, I mean, you guys saw Dallas reach the finals last season as a six seed. But of course, they have, they have a monster 
and a 98 overall Luka. So that helps him quite a bit. We'll see if we can get past him, win a game against them. We get past them. Now all we got to do is get past Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. Easy, right? Easy enough, right? We can do that. We go seven games. We go seven games. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. I'm cool with it. We lose to the champions. Kawhi Leonard, 33 points a game, 9.2 rebounds, 4 assists. Solid shooting numbers, 50% from both the field and the three-point line. But Danny's coming to help. Uh, and then if we sign anybody in free agency as a bench piece, we're on our way. We're on our way. We just reached the conference finals. Here is the progression. Absolutely ridiculous for DeAndre Ayton. Four overall improvement. Uh, Booker goes up to Danny eight. <laughs> he comes in as an 84 overall rookie. What? I gave him on tap potential last season, which somehow I think that's cheap because he's overseas. How can we? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, he's an 84 rookie. Dennis goes up two to an 84. Like I said, I was hoping at least two more overall. Uh, Onyeka goes up six, but only because I switched him from center to power forward to secondary position. And I gave him on tap potential last offseason. Christian Wood up one. We signed Kendrick Nunn to be my backup point guard. He could also play the backup two. I think they fix his tendencies as well, if I'm not mistaken, because 10.7 points in 20 minutes i think that's pretty solid he's gonna be a backup for us cameron johnson goes up three not even that much because i switched him from power forward to small forward so i don't know i don't know his true what he would have improved like one overall or something ty jerome goes up three to 76 that's just on himself and then josh green is only a 73 he stays at a 73 so that's a yikes but we don't really need him our team look sick obviously i re-signed dennis for a few seasons i gave him the bag 22 and 8 he deserves it around the 90 million dollar mark is what i'm giving him um and then i obviously signed kendrick nunn for three seasons and i think we got a chance i think i mean we reached the conference finals last season why can't we reach the finals this season here we are 84 overall dennis booker danny onyeka deandre ayton and then we got christian wood as a sixth man kendrick nunn the seventh cameron johnson our eighth and then ty jerome our ninth he's got himself some minutes is it a finals team i don't know we reached the conference finals can we reach the finals this time around we'll see especially with denny now instead of instead of kelly Oubre jr he is gone i just didn't bother giving him a contract or want him to have a huge contract and waste a trade uh, that we might need in the future but i don't even feel like trading i don't feel like trading anything um i don't know if i want to give 28 minutes to christian wood when he only puts up six and seven so i might trade him away maybe they should change christian wood's tendencies a little bit um that might be the trade that i do right now christian wood maybe ty jerome and then the wizards are willing to give me rui hachimura i will take that he will be a power forward coming in off my bench to help spread the court hopefully a little bit more than onyeka would at the moment sure rui hachimura not the best three-point shooter but he could at least stretch it a little bit more in the mid-range game so we'll see that thomas bryant here for a season He'll be a great guy off the bench. Our bench is okay. I would take that. The 2023 pick might be very valuable, but I really don't need it. That's my one trade for this season. And now Rui is our sixth man at 28 minutes. Thomas Bryant, our seventh. Kendrick Nunn, our eighth. And then Cameron Johnson, our ninth. Not a bad bench. Close to all 80s like I like it. I'll see you guys at the end of season number two. Our second full season of simulation. Now we go see. I got to see if anything is better than balance just to make sure. Just to make sure nothing is better than balance. Okay. Luka Doncic is the MVP this season. Takes it away from Giannis. Cade Cunningham, Rookie of the Year. Ricky Rubio, sixth man with another team now. And Defensive Player of the Year goes to Giannis with Orlando Magic. Wow. Okay. Most improved player, RJ Hampton. Rick Carlisle, Coach of the Year. D-Book does make an All-NBA third team this season. So awesome to see there. Do we get in any type of defensive player? Maybe our bigs? Nope. And Denny makes an all-rookie second team, meaning those other players. Wow, okay. These guys did a lot better than our boy. We finished second instead of third. So slowly, slowly improving more and more. 27 a game for Booker. 5.6 assists, 3.2 rebounds. Dennis goes down to 18.7. I'm guessing because uh, Denny brought a lot more scoring as well. So 18.7 and 7. Denny brings almost 18 points a game and makes an All-NBA second team. I mean, All-Rookie second team. DeAndre Ayton, 16 and 13 boards with 1.5 blocks a game. Rui Hachimura off my bench is bringing 13 and 5. Onyeka, 10 and 7.5. 8 for Kendrick Nunn off my bench. Thomas Bryant, 6 and 7. And Cameron Johnson, 4 points. I mean, the team... The team there's studs there's some studs on the team danny's only continue gonna continue to improve our other uh onyeka is only gonna continue to improve we might end up with 490s but i don't know how long it's gonna take uh since we do only have one trade a season i'm just gonna simulate this round 
And holy crap, they did give us a little bit of trouble. Uh, D'Angelo Russell, Anthony Edwards, Jared Culver, Jabari Parker, at Carl. Wow. Wow. They got a squad, but not even close to enough. Do we beat Dallas this time? Last season, it was the Clippers at the number one seed, right? And I think we beat these guys like the, the round before. So we got a chance, right? We don't have a chance. 4-2. 76ers, Mavericks, they lose to the 76ers. Dang, we should have got to the finals this season. Anyways, it was only our second full season. Uh, we'll see what I can do. Um, go to the NBA draft. We just got to retain DeAndre Ayton. Pretty much is what I, I'm trying to do right now. Make sure we re-sign him. That's all I'm worried about. Bring back all our rookie scale contracts. And we're set. Player progression. DeAndre is a 94 now. Booker's a 91. And then he goes up to an 86. Onyeka goes up to an 85. Uh, Schroeder still continues to improve. Even though he's 28. And then Ruhachimura only goes up one. None goes up two. Cameron Johnson goes up one. I signed Caruso because I thought he'd be a little bit better than Josh Green. And he goes down one. Here is the lineup. I messed with the minutes a little bit because I just want my starters to get a little bit more. But Dennis, pretty much mid 80s and above. Mid 80s and above. We uh, were second in the conference last season. We'll see if we could beat these Dallas Mavericks, man, um, because I, they look like the team to be with a 99 uh, MVP. And Luka Doncic, Hachimura, our sixth man. None are seventh. Cameron Johnson, our eighth. And then ninth is Caruso. So Caruso, going to be our lucky charm, right? Our lucky charm to win a championship. Four stars at balance. And it looks like to be the best one unless we want to run seven seconds. Uh, Onyeka's better at balance, so we'll leave him at balance, and, and we'll run it again. We'll run it again, see where we finish this season. Hopefully better and closer to that number one spot. Conference finals back-to-back -back seasons. Can't seem to beat that, that top team in the Western Conference. We finished with 63 wins. I think Luka last season finished with like 67 or something, but he wins MVP again. Rookie of the year, Mikey Williams. Uh, William Floyd, sixth man. Giannis, defensive player. LaMelo, most improved. Jacob Underwood, I think that's our coach. Yeah, 63 and 19. I believe he's our coach. Um, I mean, same record. I'm guessing he is, unless another team has the same exact record. Let's go. Number one. We should be number one. Aiden makes an All-NBA second team. Let's go. So they're just like trading off, seeing who wants to be on an All-NBA team, I guess. League standing 63 and 19. We're 16 games ahead. Why did Dallas fall to 45 and 37? I have no idea, but 16. 16 games ahead. And three games ahead, the Cleveland Cavaliers. So we're pretty much by far, unless we first the Cleveland Cavaliers, we should win every series, right? Player stats, it looks more even through. Uh, what the heck? He went up to 18 boards. I mean, he did go up a few minutes, but holy crap, what? 20 and 18. Almost a 2020 season. Absolute monster numbers. 22 and 5 for our boy Devin Booker. Almost 20 for Denny. So three guys scoring 20. Almost four guys scoring 20 because he's almost at 19. 18 and 8. Onyeka scoring 13 and 9. Uh, Rui Hachimura 12 off my bench. 10 for none off my bench. 4.6 for Cameron Johnson. 2.7 for Alex Caruso. I don't see a situation where we don't make it to the finals um, because even the second... Okay, we struggled hard, but even the second seed finished so many games behind us that it's like we're by far the best team in this conference. By far. Get me to the freaking finals. We're up against the Cavaliers, the one team that I was, I'd say I'm scared of. 4 1, 4 0, 4 1. That's a yikes. Uh, they got Cole Anthony, nice. Colin Sexton, nice. Kevin Porter Jr., uh, solid. Larry Nance, okay. Andre Drummond, nice. Bull Bull, super nice. Garland off the bench, nice. Um, I guess I kind of understand, but at the same time, I feel like we're better, or we should be. I mean, you never know, though, because they did just destroy that entire Eastern Conference. We destroyed them game one, or not destroy them, but we did win by quite a bit. Um, okay, If we could keep that going, I would say, okay. Yep, we're going to give one up at home, but at least we won the first one. Now, please take one at their home. We can't go down. We can't. This team's, this team's good. Give less minutes to Dennis. Why? Why would we give less minutes to Dennis? He's like our only point guard, and I'm not going to play Caruso. Oh, my. Okay, we took it. 2-2, two, two, right? 2-2. Two, 2-2, two. Two, two. please take it. Please take it. Do not let him come back. We are up 3-1, right? Just to make sure. I mean, 3-2. This could be the championship game. Make sure I don't accidentally skip the ceremony because I do want to jump in. Okay, yeah. It looks like they are going to take it unless we come back here. 
I could technically jump in and try to win. Or they're going to bring it back. No, they're not. Okay. Yeah. Okay. GG's. It was close. Now it's game seven. Win a championship, please. And we've done it. We've done it with minimal trading. Kind of just drafting one great solid trade in the first season allowed us to draft greatly and be set for the future continue simulating on a little bit slower i will jump in and win if i need to just keep the lead though just keep the lead though just keep the lead though and it looks like they pushed away okay i'm jumping in i'm jumping in we're watching the ceremony we're seeing this collection of players and hopefully i don't give up this lead of six points i almost choked this away not gonna lie um we were up six. We only win by two. Dennis was the player of the game this game because he scored like 33 points on like a uh, uh, super efficient shooting. Like 10 of 12 or something. I don't know what it was. Let's see who wins finals MVP. Aiton does. But then he put up 20 and 20 in the finals. Imagine. Imagine. What did he do? What did he do? 19.9 and 14. Okay. I feel like I only made two trades. I don't even know. But there you guys have it. Third season championship. Eight in the 96 overall. Devin Booker's a 93. Danny's an 88. Dennis an 87. Onyeka an 86 overall. We traded for Rui Hachimura. The roster's pretty insane and it would only continue to improve with Onyeka with Denny. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Drop a comment down below what you'd like, uh, what rebuild you'd like to see next with a regular rebuild, a challenge rebuild. If you're new, you enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe. But as always, guys, thanks for watching.